Hello guys, it's Chuck Grove with Foraging Truth. Today we're out morel hunting in the hills of West Virginia. We took a little road trip. We wanted to go south to see if we could find morels, and we have. But we've also found something we wanted to show you so that you knew that you did not have this mushroom when you're out morel hunting. And that is Gyrometra esculata. And right here it is. And there's also another one right over from it, next to this little piece of birch. And we have a snail down here too. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a knife that I'm not usually cutting morels with, and I'm going to go ahead and take this mushroom and show you how you can tell this mushroom from a morel mushroom. First, when I first cut this, you can also see the base is a bunch of folds with cavities and it looks like the same kind of material that the morel that you could mistake for the morel and it looks like the same material that the base of a morel is made up but it is not hollow when you cut it off and you can see that there's pits and holes and folds that make up the stem that's one sign now we're going to go ahead and cut it in half Now, there are bugs eating this, and that is another misconception. See this little guy right here? He was inside the mushroom. He was eating it, but there's an old wise tale, if bugs eat it, then you can eat it. And that is not the case. This mushroom is a toxic mushroom. Now, and you can, you can clearly see there's pits. It's not completely hollow. Now, nothing is so deadly that you can't have some of it on your blade or whatever, but I would not be using something that you were cutting a toxic mushroom with and then turn around and cut morels with it and possibly get the cross-contamination. Make might make you sick. You might get enough to get ill. So I always wash stuff off when I'm done messing with toxic mushrooms. So let's compare the two. This is what folds are. This is all clearly folded. And it might have appearance of a pit, but it's folded. Then you have a morel. Morels are pitted. You can see all the pits in that. Those are not folds, those are pits. So, I'm going to use my son's knife to slice this morel down the center and show you the difference. A morel is completely hollow and the stem is completely attached to the cap. You can see how the cap or the stem pretty much just goes up inside and comes back down around and this is all hollow. This is a true morel. And this video we're not going to go in depth of which type of morel that is, but we know that we have a morel. And we have a few of them in there. Not a lot, but a few. So True Morel, Gyrometra esculenta. Do not eat that, it's toxic. And we're gonna keep going and see what else we can find.
<laughs> and we're gonna keep on rolling. There we go. And we're gonna keep going and see if we can see how, ugh. 